Hello, this is Rob here from robcubbon.com and today I'm going to show you how I design a website. Now, I usually do this in Photoshop, but I will be showing you this in GIMP because that is a free open source equivalent of Photoshop. Now, the first step is to choose your WordPress theme that you are going to base your website on. 95% of all the websites I create are in WordPress. I'm going to be using the sample child theme on the Genesis theme framework. I always use Genesis. You don't really have to worry too much about writing HTML and CSS because the themes are so customizable. So if you wanted to buy Genesis through this link, robcoven.com forward slash go forward slash Genesis, then I would receive a commission. So there it is. What I'm going to do is go shop for themes. And if I click on this one and go full theme demo, this is the Genesis sample child theme. And this is perfect for what we want. Of course, it's mobile responsive. So when you change the device that the site is viewed on, it will respond. So all we have to do is create a screenshot of this. Those of you with PCs will have to Google how to create a screenshot on Windows and that's probably the best one to look at but I'm afraid I'm on a Mac here so I'm just gonna do command shift 4 and I'm gonna take a screenshot of that bit that'll end up on my desktop and now I'm gonna take a screenshot of the bottom bit so I've got two screenshots there to marry them together I'm gonna simply go command or control auto option C or image canvas size and I'm going to double the height and I'm going to move this box up to the top so the extra height will be put on the bottom. So there's all our extra height and I'm going to go here, select all of that, command or control C to copy, go back onto that original one, paste and there is the bottom bit and we can use the cursor keys to put it in it exactly the correct place. So now we have our background for our site. So let's start and put the logo on. And let's show you this in GIMP now. So in GIMP I'm going to open a screenshot that I already created on the desktop. There is our logo. I'm going to create another screenshot of that. It's quite small. Then I've opened that in GIMP and same again. Command or Control A select all, command or control C, copy, and then we've selected the other image, which is the image of the screenshot of the background, command or control V, and paste in the logo, and we'll select the move tool, move it up there, and the scale tool, and we just hold shift, and that will scale it down to a proportionate size, We'll click off it and of course we want to get rid of this. We actually want to get rid of all of this because we don't want a menu there and we're going to fill it with background color because as you can see the background color there is white which is the default background color. So that gets rid of all this and then still with the marquee tool selected we're just going to get rid of that little bit there and fill with background color. Okay let's do the same in Photoshop. So in Photoshop I'm going to do it a little bit differently because I'm going to paste the logo directly from Adobe Illustrator and the advantage of this is it will remain in vector after it's pasted into Photoshop. So we're going into Photoshop now, same again, I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to paste it as a smart object, not as pixels. And the benefit of that is you can resize it to be very large and it won't lose any of its quality. I'll compare that with pasting in something in pixels and then resizing it and it does lose its quality. So there's the logo and let's get rid of the default logo and the secondary menu and this little dark box in Photoshop. To do this I'm going to show you the layers palette. Here are our two layers of background we might as well merge that by doing command or control E 
which is the equivalent of going merge down. So our screenshot of the theme framework is on the background, basically. So in order to get rid of all this, I'm just going to, with the rectangle marquee tool, I'm going to select all that area behind the logo, all the header area, basically. And then I'm going to go shift delete. And that gives us a choice whether we want to add the foreground color or the background color which is white, so we could choose that if we wanted, or we can choose white there, doesn't really matter. But once we press OK, then that fills that area with white, and now we have our header nearly finished. So I hope you enjoyed that. I have begun to show you how to create the design for a website in Photoshop, and if you didn't want to spend any money on Photoshop, you can do the same thing in GIMP. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. This has been Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye.